Am I the arsehole? For kicking a six-year-old off my Switch account. A couple of months ago my mum bought a Nintendo Switch to play at her place. To be nice I logged my account into her Switch so she can play the games I have purchased. I buy all of my games online because I don't have room to keep physical copies of games, this means she has a huge selection of games to choose from. Tonight, my partner and I are sitting at home playing Mario Kart 8 on my Nintendo Switch. My existing Joy-Cons had really bad thumbstick drift so I decided to buy a new pair this morning. All we've been wanting to do since we got home is jump on and play with my new controllers. We have been playing for a while when all of a sudden an error message comes up on my screen reading someone else is playing on your Switch online account so you cannot access this content. Please contact Nintendo support if this is not you. Naturally I thought to myself, oh my mum must be trying to play on her Switch, I'll just text her to hop off since my partner and I have been looking forward to playing all night. Then she sent me a text saying that her and her friend are having a few drinks and her friend's six-year-old child wanted to play. I said to her that my partner and I have been looking forward to playing with my Switch all day so if she could hop off while we were playing. She then immediately started an argument, making me feel bad for kicking the kid off of the Switch. They wanted to distract him while they had their fun drinking. I explained to my mum that there was plenty of other ways to distract the child like putting on a movie. My partner and I really wanted to play and the child kept kicking us off the Switch account. I then jumped into my account and logged my account off their Switch so that I could play my games in peace. Since I logged them out, there was nothing they could play as to log back into my Switch they would have to have my phone for two-factor identification. This started World War 3 with my mum's neighbor even getting involved by sending a message asking me to hop off so that her kid could be distracted while they have their fun. Am I an asshole for kicking the kid off my Switch account that I paid for so my partner and I could play them? Not the asshole. It's your account and your games that you pay for. Your mother and her friend were out of line. Not the asshole. It's your account. You did not allow that six years old to play on it. You have the complete right to kick the kid off. Not the asshole it's your account, you have priority over some random kid playing on it. If your mom doesn't like it you can revoke her privilege of using it period. Not the asshole. And don't log in your mom anymore. She can have her own Nintendo account now. Not the asshole that's the reason the log out all devices feature exists in the first place. Reminds me of a co-worker going like come on we share Netflix with X people, it's just X bucks, why would you log me out for that? Not the asshole. It's your account. You don't owe it to a stranger's child to allow them to play while their parent gets drunk. Not the asshole, this is a neighbor's child. So why didn't the adults move the wine get together back to the neighbor's house where I'm sure the kid has plenty of things to entertain themselves? Seems so obvious to me. Not the asshole. This is the no good deed goes unpunished thread. You made a nice gesture to your mother, and without her even asking if it's okay, she puts someone else on the line and even demands that you accept it, as if you were the odd man out then you're exposed to some drunken mother ripping into you. You should take your mother off the account if only in self-defense. When she introduces another extra into the account, he might start buying games that you will have to pay for. Not the asshole. They were taking advantage of your kindness. Don't let them back in your account as they've already shown their true colors. If they try to convince you, cheerfully say if he has a taste for what games he likes he can start building his own game library, or games make great gifts. Your mom's cheap ass neighbor can buy her own Nintendo. How dare she say anything to you at all about your account. At that point I wouldn't even let your mother on anymore. Not the asshole. Don't log your mom back in. It's time for her to get her own account if she's going to let other people use it and tell you that you can't. Not the asshole no questions needed. Not the asshole. 
not the asshole beggars can't be choosers. Bombing someone else's account then getting mad when they want to use it? LOL. The kids can still play the Switch Ma you just got a fork $50 for the game and $10 for membership just like I did. Oh wait you don't want to do that? Okay. Sign out of my account when I ask and you won't have to. Have a good night. Not the asshole. The fact that your mother had so little self-awareness. She basically said I want to have fun and you want to have fun, but my fun is more important to me, so I will deny you your fun that you actually pay for. People really rush to offload their kids on other people and don't see a problem with that, it's crazy. Not the asshole in any way. You did a kind thing and they took advantage of it. If mom is going to lend her switch to other people she can create her own account and buy her own games. Not the asshole. Not the asshole I am sorry but I am super protective of all of my logins and I will absolutely kick a child off any of my logins especially if they didn't have permission ahead of time. Not the asshole. It's your account, you pay for it, and you have every right to use it whenever you please. Your mom and her friends sound entitled, and somewhat irresponsible. Why is nobody talking about how your mom and her friend left a six-year-old to be babysat by a gaming console while they drank? Not the asshole. My thought is that a couple of women out, having a few drinks should not have charge of a six-year-old child, anyhow. I'd block everyone messaging, and make it clear to mom that she could find herself in time out as well should she continue such inconsiderate behavior. Not the asshole. It isn't your job to entertain their child. They can surely set up an account of their own and get appropriate games as needed. Not the asshole. They could have had their drink at the six-year-old house where all his toys are. Lol if she wanted to use your Switch account as a free babysitter, she should have booked it ahead of time. Not the asshole. Not the asshole she can buy her own games. Omg, um, not the asshole I think I pay for this, it's mine beats out crappy parent doesn't want to watch their child while getting drunk every time. The biggest of not the asshole in the gaming world. Giving someone access is a privilege that comes with very strict conditions. If it's is abused in any way, the person is rightfully kicked right of the account. The right answer from your mom would have been oh sorry, I'll tell him right now and he will be off it in no more than 5 minutes. Done and done. Who the hell even brings a little kid to a piss up? The trashy friend needs to get a fucking sitter. Not the asshole. Edit, also look at Gillicut Hall sensor analog sticks for your old Joy-Cons, they're magnetic and won't get drift. The neighbor or your mom could have bought the game on their existing account just as you did. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. If they wanted to entertain the kid bad enough, they could have just bought Mario Kart on your mom's Switch account. If it wasn't important enough to spend $50, it wasn't that important. Not the asshole they are your games, they don't get to block you from accessing them without your permission. They can use their own account to buy a game if they need one that badly. Also you can get your Joy-Con repaired for free it if you are in North America.